right here it is this is all um what is it called copper tape all around it I've <clears throat> put it on my pegboard with these uh, I don't know what they're called like a bracket to hold it flat at the bottom and then I've got everything pretty much where I want it and uh, pinned in place so that I can start to solder um, I was thinking I would do the soldering on camera but you've seen me solder before and I'm not that good at it and it's very distracting so I think I'm gonna do it off camera and um, I guess I'll show you the finished piece after it's complete I think I'm gonna like it alright I'll see you in a little bit it's going pretty well so I figured I'd turn on the camera um, just wanted to say like when you do the front the first run of, the first bit of beading or not beading soldering isn't your finished product so this is just when you flux which is to when you put that there's something called flux you put it on the um, wire the copper tape um, you want it to go down in, in the nooks and crannies so anywhere that there's a gap I want it to fall down in there and so I flux when I flux I make sure that I get the flux down in those crevices and then when I turn it over and do the back the solder will have fallen through see there's a pretty big crack right there um, but it makes it a lot more sturdy when the solder gets in between the glass too so this isn't your final look I'll be, I mean if you get a nice bead that's okay but we're gonna come back at the end and fix anything that needs fixing because I still have to do the back so see there was a pretty big gap right there so I just want to let the solder fall through and make sure and I'm not gonna take this solder all the way to the end of this part because I'm gonna add came on the bottom which is like a, a oh sorry itchy nose like a piece of uh, metal just to make it look nice so this is the um, flux and I'm using a gel flux and I just want to get this in those nooks and crannies so I flux pretty generously like I let the brush kind of go down in the in the gap and then once I'm done this side I'm gonna flip it over and do the other side and that's the back so I don't really care if that looks pretty but then I'll come back and do any finishing uh, <coughs> make it look nice on this side I'm just cleaning my soldering iron a little bit it looked a little grungy If I haven't put flux there, the solder won't stick. So anywhere I've already soldered, I haven't put flux back on top of it yet. So I'm liking this gel flux. I haven't used it in a while, obviously. I haven't been doing a lot of stained glass, but um, it doesn't seem to spit and spatter as much as the uh, liquid flux does.
I'm going to put my iron. Just turn off the fan. Now this has flux all over it, and I have cuts all over my hands. I did get out some gloves. I'm going to put these on because flux will sting my little cuts. So I'm just going to put these on while I touch the, the piece. But you know what? I'm curious to see how much of it fell through. I know I had some pretty big um, cracks. So let's see. I don't really have that much. I mean, it looks pretty good. I don't have any big soldery looking just on the side. I got a little. So I have to do this whole side again. And basically, it's just the same thing. I'm going to flux all the, what would these be called? Um, I don't know, intersections or joints? The joints, because it's, yeah, it's joints. So I'm just rubbing this flux into, or onto, because that is looks pretty sealed up now. And I'll try to make this look as pretty, as decent as I can, because I'm not going to come back and do the back again. And I just like to do one house at a time, just less um, pressure. <laughs> and so let me turn my fan back on. why it's fallen down that little section there. I'm not going to go, like I said, to the end. Because you'll see, I'll show you how I do the cane part. I don't think I've ever done that on a project before. It's bubbling a little bit. pretty good um so I'll go ahead and do this side and probably go back and fix the other side and I'll come back when I'm gonna do the bottom so the uh, that little piece of came I told you about all right I'll be right back okay I totally forgot about adding the came on camera and I did it and I'm not thrilled with what I'm doing here. Like, I don't know why. Uh, no, I'm talking to the camera. <laughs> it's okay. But yeah, but like it's not sticking to everywhere. And look, it made these big blubs right here. So I got to trim it. I'm going to trim over here too. Um, so I'm not sure. Like, see, maybe the flux just went behind it or something. There you go. I think you're just supposed to put like a little bead, like a little bead. So I'm going to just try and fix this bead. That looks better, see? And then, I don't know why that's just sucking through. See how it sucked through? Alright. I mean, it looks okay. Thanks, Joe. I'm going to do the back. The back will probably... See, I should have done the back first. Because then, you know, see, like, this is crazy. Why is this... 
It's crazy, Joe. It's just crazy. So that's not good. It's not a good look. <laughs> you look okay. Ish. Ah. Oh, I didn't put one here. I'll do that at the end. So let's go to the back. So see, it's basically just a, a piece of channel. But see how this looks messy? Mm -hmm. I'm talking to my peeps, too. But it's a piece of channel that you put on the bottom. And then I'm going to flux each of these joints where it meets the channel. And, and the, in theory, just leave a little bead of solder there. And it should attach it to the channel. And it's supposed to leave a nice, you know, straight, even border for your bottom. So let's go. Kiwi's calling me, but I can't bring her in here because there's too much, oops, toxic stuff. See, that sucked through. I think it's fallen. It's going under the channel. I mean, into the channel, like underneath the glass. I think even my flux is kind of um, falling through, too, and it's not even staying. Oh, here's one. This fell totally off. I'm going to put more flux. So, anywho, that's it, guys. That's the, uh, the gist of it. I'll give you a shot at the end when it's totally clean. Maybe I'll go stand by the window and put it in the window so you can see it. Because I'm curious to see if the, um, you know, what the glass looks like up in the, in the window. Because I haven't really held it up to the window. See how when you use that salmoniac block it gets all... Anyhow, nice. Alright, so I'm going to try and fix this and I'll see you when it's all done. Alright, one more thing I got to do is attach the rings that I'm going to hang it with. And this is tricky, but I'll do it on live video. And I can't find the, there it is, the join. So I'm just going to stick it. You got to flux them up first. Let me flux them. Flux these things. These are just jump rings. Got to get them all fluxy. Fluxed. And then I'm going to tuck them. This, I saw someone do this. Maria. Maria did this. She tucked her ring where she wanted it from the front. And then so it like it'll hold it in place. We'll see. We'll see, Maria, if this works. Oh boy, it looks good. I don't know. I think she's on to something. Let's see what happens. Am I in the shot? Uh-oh. I guess, I mean, I think it's, I think it's attached. It is. It's attached. See? I think Maria was on to something when she did that. Hmm. Huh. I think that's just a piece of paper. I'm going to go with it. As long as the little, um, like the little, the hanger can fit in there. And then I'm going to put one over here. Right here. So I got to flux it again because I probably wiped a lot of flux off. I'm going to put it in here. So I'm fluxing it, fluxing it, fluxing it, fluxing this. Stick 
sticking in there. See, it's not even really touching. Whoa. But, I do see where she's going with it. I like where she's going with it. And we'll see if it if it grabbed it or not. It seems to have grabbed it. I think I'll put a little bit of I don't want to undo it, but I think a little bead would be a good idea. I think that's going to do it. Alright, so the next time you see it, it'll be hanging in the window. Alright, I'll be right back. Alright, here it is. I mean, I don't know if this does it justice when you see it from in here like this. I mean, I think it looks good. I can see the light shining through. So hopefully she'll like it. I didn't put any um, wire swirlies on it or anything, which I totally could do. I'm not sure about it. I could always add that. That's the thing. So for now, I think it's done. Alright you guys, thanks for watching.